So I decided to make a video on the new grow system that I built last week. Uh, I've been doing a lot of experimenting with these and this seems to work really well as far as running and not having leaks or anything like that. You can see I have some lettuce growing in here. So this is a twin tower system, two towers or whatever you want to call it. I got the pump over here. Here's just like a makeshift electrical housing that's not very good but I have the timer inside there and then a little power strip and here we have a little filter uh, the filter is for uh, filtering out the tap water or the hose water because there's metal and minerals in there that would clog up the misting heads so if I hadn't had that on there uh, somebody was asking if the nutrients that I put in here we're clogging out my misting heads and the answer to that is no they're not because the nutrients are dissolved in the water so and they don't have enough time to dry out and harden on the ends because the timer turns on the water quite often and these both rotate they're on lazy susans you just come out here every day and just rotate it a little bit so that all the plants will get sunlight they don't all need direct sunlight they grow pretty good um, in a couple weeks this will be filled and then I have some more I'm going to be germinating. I'm going to start them today for this tower. And then I built a manifold system that connects them both together. And I'm not going to pull it out and show you but um, I made a vertical tube that goes almost all the way down to the bottom and then every inch there's a misting head facing in a different direction so that the inside of it's completely covered. Hey, you know what the heck? I'll show you guys what it looks like in here. So, I don't know if you can see the mist through the camera lens, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I mean, it, you know, it's covered, 100% of the inside is covered in water, which is good. And then that water just drains out the bottom uh, into this five gallon bucket here. And then this five gallon bucket has a tube coming out of the bottom of it that connects it with the other five gallon bucket underneath the other grow tower so that there's an equal amount of water in both buckets all the time. And that was the you know, best thing I could think of to connect them together because if I just had them separate then this one would fill up with water eventually and then leak out all over the place. So they needed to re recirculate. And we'll come back here and give you a view of both of them. And here's some of my crack keys. Here's my squash. It's a month old today. It's massive. The leaves are much larger than my hand. Here's a couple of radishes and then some late bloomers. I think it might have been too cold out and these guys are just too weak. And then over here I have a whole bunch more radishes. They grow really fast. Probably one of the fastest vegetables I've ever seen, or the fastest growing anything for that matter. These would be some good weeds to have in your yard because they grow really fast and you can eat them. <laughs> or not. And here we have a watermelon. Supposed to be like a baby sweet watermelon or something like that. I don't remember exactly. And here's a tomato. Planted this on the seventh of last month, so it's about a, a month and a week old, and it's growing pretty good. And this is just using the crack key method. Professor B. A. Crack key of the University of Hawaii. He is a genius. Um, once I learned this method, I thought, oh my gosh, this is so easy because you don't ever have to water it. You fill the bucket up with water, and you might have to check it every month and add a little bit, but, you know, it's not like a garden where you have to come out and water it all the time. You know, you miss a day and then the plants die. No, that doesn't happen with these. And then here's some broccoli. This is doing pretty well. Hopefully by this time next year I'll be eating some broccoli. I'm going to grow a lot more later on down the road, but these were just experiments to see if Professor Kratke's, uh 
idea was really really something I could use and it works fantastically it's a uh, it's really great I think anyone should learn how to do this and once you grasp the, the idea of how it works it's really really easy here's another shot of the grow towers these will grow 120 heads of lettuce or whatever kind of leafy greens I've got some butter butter crunch and some regular lettuce and maybe some cabbage I'll throw in there we'll see I've got a bunch germinating inside right now we can go check those out there's a, a wasabi plant uh, I used, I've been having a lot of trouble growing these so I'm trying something new with these expanded clay pebbles because they don't like to grow in dirt they will grow to a certain size and then just fall over and die but anyways here's the seedlings take this off and there is a whole bunch of butter crunch lettuce growing in here they're not right or I mean they're not quite ready yet to put outside because there's not enough roots coming out of the bottom yet but they're getting there you can see the roots so we'll give these another couple of weeks I'm just using a little ten dollar uh, ten dollar light bulb turn it off and look at it it's supposed to be 40 watts and it seems to be working all right because if it wasn't working these would have died already they would have gotten tall and skinny and then just died so this light works they're doing quite well cover back on without chopping any of them off yeah but in a month or so those will go out there in the grow tower and it should look really really cool covered in lettuce I'll make another video then but until then thanks for watching and uh, have a good day